That's what Oprah said at the start of every show. <laughs> yeah, without context, that's kind of an odd way to start to play through. <laughs> <laughs> no, wait, hold on. You can. I'm gonna. I'm editing this. I'm Ed Leroying this. I. So I. So I'm the one who gets to choose when we start. Jones. All right. Brian. Yeah. Let's let's get this fucker started. That's what Oprah said at the start of every show. <laughs> okay. Well, greetings, gentles and ladies, man. Welcome to welcome Wario. Back to, World. Welcome back to Oprah. Let's get this fucker started. <laughs> <laughs> and you get a fucker. So this is Wario World, developed, I think, and or released in 2003 for the Nintendo GameCube, developed by a company called Treasure. You may have heard of them. They're also behind a little game called Gunstar Heroes in the Genesis, and I think Alien Storm. Um, a lot of people Even remember the now. release of this game because it was on... Long ago, there was an the evil black jewel that fed on the dead, wishes of people toting their desires into power. This dark jewel gave birth to many evil spirits who then tormented the good creatures of the world. Then, just when it seemed like the evil spirits would overrun the land, the spritelings of the sacred forest ensnared the black jewel and hid it away within their ancient ruins. But over time, these events were all forgotten, and one day a greedy treasure hunter stole the jewel from the ruins. I like how he started reading faster near the end. Free at last! I'm chock full of power! I think I'll turn all of these greedy saps jewels into evil spirits! <laughs> Moral of the story, black is bad. <laughs> but Eric, black is beautiful. Black is black. <laughs> yeah, okay. he, thought, he thinks that's funny. <laughs> See, this game was made by this. This game was made by the Klansmen, for sure. As you'll see, as we'll point out through the playthrough, there's lots of KKK propaganda littered throughout this game, and we're gonna take it apart as the disgusting creation of cis white males. And rip it apart. Don't worry, Tumblr. This is the playthrough for you. <laughs> <laughs> As you can probably tell. <laughs> okay, first of all, um, we didn't mean anything bad to black people. We l we love all races, and we love them all equally. Michael especially loves Coney. As you may remember from his cable access show, Coney 2012. <laughs> oh, okay, so that's the basic plot of the game, is that Wario got a castle somehow. And he stole this evil black jewel. Evil. Which is evil because of black, don't you know? That's true. And, um... It said it in the Star Wars section at the beginning. <laughs> Speaking of Star Wars, I have an edit <laughs> that me and Michael discussed. <laughs> that I think would... Okay, so the new Star Wars movie... <laughs> this, is, this is relevant to the game, trust me. So there's this new Star Wars movie coming out, you know? You might, you might have heard of it once or twice. Once or twice. And I'm thinking, hey... What do you, a lot of people looking forward to this movie, what do they want more than anything? And more and more Disney involvement. It's true. <laughs> Everybody likes Star Wars, wants more and more. You can ask anybody. What are you, what are you? you know, there's a little thing. Oh, you're not, you're not doing anything. What? Oh yeah, yeah, that was automatic. Okay, Wario, hi, I've been waiting for no, you. I'm on. on the sprite wings of the forest. I have really bad news. That evil black jewel you stole. Hey, hey. <laughs> if you want to survive, press the A button. No, to jump. <laughs> nobody cares about the fucking controls. Okay. okay, so everybody likes Star Wars. Loves the fact that it was bought by Disney. It's gonna be a Disney production. So, get this. Fuck. <laughs> Flying through space, right? Dark, Darth, Darth Vader Jr. or Dark Vader Jr. If you ask, this game is chasing Han Solo and his trusty friend Chewie through space, right? He's eating a delicious chewy granola bar. <laughs> Buy it at your local Walmart today. But anyway, okay, that's the first thing that should name is change his name to Chewie and have him constantly eating chewy bars. <laughs> they can make a lot of money that way. That'd be cool, and everybody would like it too. Mm. Anyway, getting to the point, he goes inside. There's a there's a figure. He he escapes to the 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 Empire's base, his secret base. There's a giant tank in the middle, right? Mm -hmm. It's a figure with big ears. That's right. He's cryogenically frozen, and then they unfreeze him. <gasps> Who's that? Uh -huh. <laughs> That's right. Everybody's favorite Star Wars character, Mickey Mouse. Uh -huh. Thanks for saving me. Uh -huh. 
to save the galaxy by rescuing my friends Goofy, Donald, and Pluto. Uh huh. And while we're at it, we gotta stop Xehanort from destroying Kingdom Hearts. Uh huh. Uh huh. What? Oh, and then and then we'll have the villain change to look like Ansem <laughs> for, for no fucking reason. Uh huh. Kingdom Hearts 2 is such a stupid game but that's for another day anyways i um, i love it so you do, so you people who like kingdom hearts don't have to be annoyed with watching this you don't have to go write a tumblr you post have, about us because <laughs> i you and one, tumblr all of a sudden tumblr is the best website with all the smartest <laughs> people on it i'll have you know if you're looking for five nights of freddy's fan art gosh go golly dang tumblr's <laughs> the place for you so, as you can see, this game's sort of like a, well, th what he's basically saying is that in order to beat the level, you gotta <laughs> collect these little red diamond things, and these are in these little sub-gate things. So, basically what you do is you jump down here, and then you get like a little mini platforming challenge, and then you get, um... Face unsurmountable challenges. Yeah. Insurmountable. Anti-surmountable challenges. <laughs> you done? No. Looks like we've got to spring back into action. Fuck you for saying that. <laughs> These guys give you... garlic. As you can probably read. Unless I if you're a baby. In which, in which case, case, they give you a uh, formula. That's yeah. true. <laughs> that's true, probably. I meant babies watching, though. Oh, if you okay. can't read and you're a baby. What's wrong with you? Yeah, c come on, grow up already, you stupid fuck. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Like, what are you, a baby or something? And here's advice for life. Always, just always watch your fucking language. <laughs> you can get into a lot of fucking trouble. You know what I'm saying? Shit. I sure as Shit. fuck do know. So basically, uh, this, this game's something of a mixture of a beat em up and a 2D plat- or a 3D pl- 2.5D platform, actually. And, um... I don't know, so you, you gotta run, run around, collect treasure, collect money, and you gotta find... I think this game's actually really short, which is kind of why we're, we're um, trying to kick off the summer with it. You know, we just kicked what... off our last... Then we kick off when we started... Yeah, last year we did. We, did, we started Warion off game? with the Wario game. Warion game? Yep. For the Warion uh, 64. Uh, we, we played Warion, Warion Link 4. <laughs> Warion? Yeah. Worry on my way, work. My. <laughs> yeah, and, um. Go ahead. And then. Oh. Yeah, see that. And then all of a sudden. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you. <laughs> Michael, come on. <laughs> I'm trying to talk to you. <laughs> you. You, like, keep talking whenever uh, I talk. But it... No, you go. Alright, you go. No, come you on. go. Yu-Gi-Oh! I choose you. Th that's Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> I choose you. Blue Eyes White Dragon. Eels Tackle. Mei is my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! character. Naruto is also a show. <laughs> the end. So yeah, like I was saying, this game is actually pretty short. I think it's only like... 8 levels long plus 5 extra boss fights on top of that. So... I don't know, it should only take us a couple hours to get through. I thought it was a good way to sort of kick off the summer, you know. <laughs> Isn't that the second yeah. time you fall off the exact I same thing? I think place? that is. And you should shut the hell up. <laughs> See, the problem is, if I'm going to be editing this... Yeah. You're... Then I can't do my old bit of asking you to do impossible things. <laughs> oh, that's right. Now I get to do that. No, you don't, because <laughs> I won't listen to you. Well, it's not like I listen to you when you I'll do. edit in audio, a decriminating audio of you. By you turning wouldn't. into other things, like how that, like, a, like Alex admitting Jones. to, <laughs> yes, exactly, like Alex Jones and Jesse Ventura points out. <laughs> Apparently, I am a fossil fuel. You are a fossil. No, because that would probably don't exist. <laughs> and would ISIS exist if you weren't alive? And the answer is yes. <laughs> the, the so suck on that. Is you yes. fucked it up. I did? Yeah, you fucked it up. Oh, well, I've got another little you thing. You done fucked up. No, no, you still fucked it up. Give up. Please. It's no use. <laughs> Give up. You haven't got a chat. What is that, Jesus. from? 
What is that from? It's no use, give up is from Sonic Adventure. I know, but I feel like there's something else that's like, no use, give up, you haven't got a chance. You know, it sounds like a generic, like a generic villain song from a half-assed Diet Disney mil movie. half at Diet Disney? Yeah, you know Diet Disney? Is Diet Disney that one that makes, like, King of Lions? And all those, like, fake, clearly Diet, ripoff movies? Diet Disney is, like, basically, like, where, like, it's obvious... It's, it's not Disney who made it, but it's really obvious that that's what they're going for. You know, oh, like, it's I just see. sort of like a knockoff movie. Like, Lion and the King would be... An, a really bad example of that sort of thing. Lion and... Are you dissing on Lion and the King? Yes, I am. That movie sucks. <laughs> that movie is my favorite movie. I'm going to write a post on Tumblr about you. <laughs> and you're going to see Again, it. what's the Tumblr? Yeah, Tumblr. What is website. that? It's a good website. Is the, is, I thought that was the you photo website. You take your virtual pets. <laughs> That's true. You are well, right. you might say that Wario's been around the globe. Fuck you for saying that, first of all. <laughs> I don't know, I thought that was a real gem. Like it was a real spike in our bunny oh, body. Oh, it was springing into action. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah well, well, bunny hop right into action. <laughs> no, no you up. better keep a log of these puns. <laughs> so that future generations, you know, can come back and see it. <laughs> There's literally nothing to laugh at. <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> she told me something. I didn't uh, believe her. I don't get it. Because it's a lever. Oh. That's because you're not you. You, you can't keep enough. alive. <laughs> is that what you were laughing at? Oh. Oh my god. Oh. Okay, so basically what it's telling us is that there are these little pits that's down there. Like so you don't die when you fall. Just do it. So basically what it... So this this little pit right here goes to the level It's like class. Yoshi's Story, everybody's favorite game. So, you, so if you get a certain number of the red diamonds, then you can access the boss. But this is going to be a 100% run, bitch, so we're not doing that. We're gonna get everything there is to see. Why cracker. Did, why did? <laughs> Listen, I eat crackers because you are what you eat. You sound. You turned into like Joe Pesci for a second Wait. earlier. It's gonna be a hundred percent playthrough over here. <laughs> I suppose that's not Joe Pesci at all. Speaking of Joe Pesci, this game. Um, fun fact: when the game designer set out to create this game, they uh, wanted they kickstarted it. This is a Kickstarter <laughs> game, and. uh... People bought into it because they heard it was going to be a spiritual successor the of uh, Home Alone <laughs> for the NES, which we recently played on the channel. You should check it out. You can check it out at this annotation here, which will definitely not lead you to a cat video. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? Oh yeah, the Kickstarter is actually in Japan. All the donators Do went it. to their house and burned Do it down. It. Because all the game developers, the developers lived in one house. <laughs> because they wanted to get into the Home Alone spirit. And even set, around, set little traps up around the place. That's a true story. I read it on wiki. True stories. <laughs> they misspelled true, but they seemed like trustable guys. Mm. So they're... they're um, essentially... Three things you can do in each stage. There are these little golden statue parts that you can find. They're all like little statuettes of Wario. And if you find one in a stage, then you'll increase your your maximum health by a, an extra half heart. And that makes it easier to survive later. This game is pretty easy, honestly. Like, there's not really much challenge well, it's hard. To it. It's hard if you play half-heartedly. Yes. <laughs> and if you jump off the same place twice in a row. Okay, is that going to be a, a, a recurring motif in this game? Listen, I don't... Have a brain. <laughs> no. I think... I smell bad. <laughs> right? you're, I think this is a knock on wood for the rest of the plates, you know? Shut up. <laughs> I get the feeling you purposely jumped off twice because you're trying to figure out a pun. <laughs> Maybe. Home. Right. I think that's the last treasure. There we go. Now all we gotta do left is... Uh, you should fall in the pit to show people what happens. 
I have a feeling like I'm gonna fall into the pits in the other levels plenty of times, so you I'm probably gonna, don't gonna, need to do that. I'm gonna edit you right into the pit. I don't think I, you, I don't think By you the way, have the guts. <laughs> you don't have the boots. Okay, so this guy is Green Fist, I think. <laughs> what? That's a great name. Yeah. I think this boss is kind game, of a In this game, we follow our snore. protagonist, Yellow Hat, as he attacks Green Fist. Yeah. And, and then I he rides his blue eyes, White Dragon, right in the canto. <laughs> I think this boss is kind of a dino snore, honestly. <laughs> I like the decorations, it really reminds you that you're boned. Uh, yeah, <laughs> yes. <laughs> that was the best joke. By the way, this is my brother Eric, in case you don't know. He and I did a playthrough of Shovel Knight on my channel a while back. And that was a lot of fun, so you should go check that out sometime. If you're you can click curious. on this, which will definitely not be a video of a rabbit being hit by a race car. <laughs> there is such a thing. Of course there is, it's the internet. Ugh. I found it on tumblr.com slash Okay, stories. enough with the Tumblr jokes! <laughs> like, I don't know what that site is. <laughs> it's really good, you should check it out. <laughs> is it like 4chan? It's made by Johnny McTumblr. <laughs> <laughs> there was no heart put into that joke. Uh-huh. Are you saying <laughs> that you half- half-heartedly? I made two half-heartedly jokes now. And they both were really funny. Mm -hmm. Alright, so I think in the next part we're gonna head into the second That was an level. entire part. Well, we could probably split it up if it's too long. Uh, we can... Nah, but that means more work for me. <laughs> Is little baby Eric gonna be okay? I'm gonna fall asleep. <laughs> it's past my bedtime. It's already 8 o'clock. <laughs> Yeah, see, Wario's gotta go to bed, too. So I guess we're all gonna take a nap, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. That was the worst. <laughs> that was the worst outro to anything ever. <laughs>